Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, mga kapatid, kapamilya. Welcome once again with our morning devotion. So today, as we continue to study the Word of God, let us pause for a moment and pray to God to give us the courage, the strength to face another new day and a spiritual wisdom for us to know Him more through His word of truth that gives hope, life, and strength. Father God in heaven, we bless your name, we glorify your name, we magnify your name on high, O oh God. Today, Father, as we continue to study your word, we allow your Holy Spirit to work in us and through us as you open our hearts, minds, spiritually, so that we may be able to understand your word and we be able also to put into practice every day of our lives. We thank you, Father, for your love, your grace, and mercy that sustain us every day. This is our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So, our scripture reading for today is found on Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 to 18. When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received the reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your Father who is unseen and your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. So, basahin ko rin sa Tagalog version ang turo tungkol sa pag-aayuno. Kapag nag-aayuno kayo, huwag ninyong tularan ang mga pakitang tao sapagkat sinasadya nilang hindi mag-ayos ng sarili para ipakita sa mga tao na nag-aayuno sila. Ang totoo, tinanggap na nila ang kanilang gantipala. Sa halip, Kung mag-ayuno kayo, maghilangos at mag-ayos kayo ng sarili upang hindi malaman ng mga tao na nag-aayuno kayo maliban sa inyong ama na hindi nakakikita at ang inyong ama na nakakakita sa ginagawa ninyo ng lihim ang magbibigay ng kantipala sa inyo. God bless His Word. So, ang title ng ating pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay Growing Closer to God So, kumusta naman ang ating spiritual life, mga kapatid? Is still growing? Or still stagnant? So, tayo lang naman na makakapagsabi sa ating sarili, di ba? It is only between us and the Lord na makapagsasabi, are we growing spiritually? Or are we still uh, stagnant with our spiritual life. Stagnant means yung hindi ka nag-grow. Parang parang yung dati ka pa rin na hindi hindi lo level up, parang ganun. But of course, kaya nga tayo we are studying the word of God para tayo ma-encourage, mabigyan tayo ng mas malalim na pagkakilala sa ating Panginoon. So, samahan nyo pa tayo doon dito sa ating pag-aaral as we are having our prayer and fasting for this week. We are so privileged that God has given us the opportunity to share His Word in every areas of our lives. Kahit saan man tayo naroon, we are so blessed kasi alam natin that God is always there for us. So, God has impressed in my heart the acronym of FAST. FAST na hindi matuli na, yung FAST na abstaining from anything that will move us to grow closer to God. Or yung FAST na uh, 
kailangan mo madisiplina yung sarili sa mga ibang bagay para mag-focus ka doon sa pinapagawa ng Panginoon sa iyong buhay. So, first thing also is also a spiritual hunger for God. Minsan, sa physical natin na buhay, di ba, nagugutom tayo sa mga physical na pagkain. So, ang spirit din natin, minsan nagugutom rin tayo sa mga spiritual na bagay. And as we continue to study the Word of God through the teaching that Jesus had given us sa scripture na binasa natin, Jesus is the one teaching about fasting. So, tignan natin, di ba, sabi nga niya, huwag kayong maging maging hipokrito. Di ba, yung mga pariseyo, gusto nila makikita, makikita sa mga ibang tao na sila ay nag-aayuno. Pero, sinabi nga ng Panginoong Heso Kristo, kapag kayo ay nag-aayuno, huwag ninyong tularan ang mga pakitang tao. Sabi niya. So, kapag nag-aayuno tayo, we should do it in the right attitude with the right heart. Let our, let our, uh, how to say, let our feet on the ground and our heart will rise to God. So, nandun yung humble na sa puso natin na apart from God, we cannot do anything. But it's only through the presence of God in our lives that we can do everything through Jesus Christ who gave us the strength. So, God has impressed in my heart an acronym about fasting. So, yung fast, ito yung acronym, my four letters dito. Una, focus on God alone. So, kinakailangan natin na ginagawa natin ang prayer and fasting. Nagpapas tayo. Kasi ang focus natin talaga walang iba kundi ang Panginoong Ama sa langit. And as we focus on God, we are, pangalawa yung letter A, we are acknowledging His sovereignty, His power, His authority over our lives. And third, letter S, it stands for seeking God's will. And fourth, letter T, thanking God with a grateful heart. So, dito kapatid, nakikita natin na ang ating pag-aayuno ay ginagawa natin ito hindi sa sarili natin, kundi ginagawa natin ito because we love God. Unang-una, we honor God. And secondly, we are acknowledging His power, His sovereignty, His authority over our lives. Kinikilala natin na siya lamang ang Panginoon na nakakakilala sa atin. Siya lang nakakaalam ang lahat. So, He is worthy to be honored. He is worthy to be praised. And He deserves all the glory and honor in our lives. Kaya napaka-importante mga kapatid na we should focus unto God alone. Secondly, acknowledging His power, His authority over our lives. Kapag balikan natin yung verses sa verse 9 of chapter 6, the same book of Matthew, sinabi dito sa verse 9, This then is how you should pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. So, we are acknowledging Father God in heaven. We are honoring His name, the name above every name, and the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And third, seeking God's will. Sinabi dito sa verse 10, same chapter 6, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is is in heaven. Seeking God's will in our lives, mga kapatid. As we continue to seek God's will in our lives, kapag ang kalooban niya lagi 
ang inuuna natin sa ating buhay. Truly, God is always faithful to fulfill all His promises in our lives. Kagaya yung promise niya sa Matthew 6.33 Sabi nga doon, Seek first His kingdom and all His righteousness. All these things shall be added unto us. Isa sa mga life verse natin na kailangan natin i-meditate, isabuhay, eternalize ang salitang ito, ang promise niya na ito that if we really seek Him in our lives and His will be done in our lives, truly, God is always faithful. Minsan sa buhay natin, hindi tayo faithful sa Kanya. But then, God is always faithful to fulfill His promises in our lives. Siguro minsan, tinatanong niyo ang sarili niyo, bakit ang mga prayer na matagal ko nang pinag-pray kay God hanggang ngayon, hindi pa nasasagot. Of course, God listens our all our prayers. God answers all our prayers. It might be no. Hindi para sa iyo 'yon. Kaya hindi binigay ng Lord sa iyo. Secondly, yes. Binibigay ng Lord 'yon dahil para sa iyo 'yon. Or third, God might answer, wait, hindi pa ito panahon, anak, para sa iyo. So, we should always put in our hearts, in our minds, that God listen to all our prayers. Magkakaiba lang mga kasagutan na binibigay sa atin. Kasi unang-una, ang tinitignan ng Panginoon, ay ang puso natin. Ano ba yung motibo ng puso natin? Are we really seeking God with a sincere heart? Totoo ba ang motibo ng puso natin? Tama ba ang ating motibo sa ating paghingi or pagpipray sa Panginoon? Kaya there are times sa buhay natin we feel frustrated, napofrustrate tayo, disappointed tayo, Minsan, nagtatapo tayo. But then, I tell you mga kapatid, our attitude should not be like that. Bagkos, ang gusto ng Panginoon, kailangan niya tayo, magkaroon tayo ng tamang motibo sa ating puso. If we really pray and fast, kailangan natin, first and foremost, we should focus on God. Secondly, acknowledging, inaalala natin na siya lamang ang makapangyarihan sa lahat. Alalahanin natin na siya ang Diyos na kakaalam ng bawat detalye ng ating buhay. He is sovereign. He is full of power and He has the full authority over our lives. Kailangan natin to be totally dependent unto God alone as we acknowledge His power, sovereignty, and authority over our lives. At yung fourth letter, yung letter T, kailangan natin magkaroon din tayo ng puso na mapagpasalaman. Hindi pa natin natatanggap ang bibigay ng Lord, pero by faith, nandun na yung pananampalataya natin na natanggap na natin yun. Na ibibigay ng Lord yun. 
So we always be thankful. Whatever we have, we ask in prayer. We should continue to have a thankful heart, a grateful heart. Kasi, di ba, kapag nakikita ang Lord, ang puso natin, na may tamang motibo, napagpakumbabang puso, na wala tayong magagawa kung walang Panginoon sa ating buhay. God is always faithful. Sinabi dito, di ba? Binasa natin dito sa verse 18. Sa Tagalog sabi niya, upang hindi malaman ang mga tao na nag-aayuno kayo, maliban sa inyong ama na hindi nakikita, at inyong ama na nakakita sa ginagawa ninyo ng lihim ang magbibigay ng gantib para sa inyo. Kaya, ang gustong tukuyin ng Panginoong Heso Kristo dito ay huwag tayong masyadong humble sa ating sarili. Huwag tayong pakitang tao. Bagkus, kapag nag na tayo, kapag nagpipray tayo, nananalangin tayo sa Lord, una, saliksikin natin ang ating sarili. Are we doing this for the Lord? Or gusto lang natin na makilala tayo? Kagaya ng mga pariseyo. So today, I pray na lahat tayo kailangan din natin suriin natin ang ating sarili. We all fall short of the glory of God. Lahat po tayo nagkakamali. Lahat tayo may kahinaan. But then, the Lord is always there for us. Napagdaanan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. If we go back on chapter 4, Jesus Christ, when He was being tested in the wilderness, di ba? He fasted for 40 nights, 40 days and 40 nights. And that, then that was the time that He was being tempted by the devil three times. But then, Jesus Christ had overcome the baits o yung mga pain ng kaaway sa kanyang buhay. Napagtagumpayan niya. Siya yung perfect model natin on how to pray and fast. Ano yung mga pinanlaban ng Panginoong Heso Kristo? He counteract the devil with the word of God. Kaya napaka-importante mga kapatid na pag-aralan natin ang mga salita ng Panginoon sa buhay natin araw-araw. And let our lives be saturated with the word of God. Kailangan natin ito because 24-7 din yan kumikilos ang kaaway. Kaya 24-7 din bantayan natin ang faith. Kaya sa pag-aayuno natin, if we really, really ask something to God, una-unahin natin, try to evaluate ourselves. Suriin natin ang ating mga puso. Are we doing this for the sake of God? To do His will in our lives? Are we doing this because we love God? It's between us and the Lord, mga kapatid. If we really do what the Lord is asking us to do, We will do it all for the glory of His name. 
Gusto ko lang po i-share yung isang karanasan ng pag-aayon. Bilang isang OFW noon, bago pa ako buwi noon, magbakasyon, I really seek God's will in my life. Sabi ko, Lord, ano ba yung gusto mong gawin ko pag uwi ko at magbabakasyon? Ang una kong prayer noon yung may share yung gospel of salvation sa aking family. Since wala pa akong masyadong alam noon, sabi ko, Lord, lead me kung sino yung gagamitin mo na mga likod mo na mag-share ng gospel of salvation sa aking family. Unang-unang aking parents, aking mga kapatid. At alam niyo po, gusto kong i-share ito, karansan ko na ito. It's not because may taas yung sarili ko, kundi may taas ang pangalan ng Panginoon sa buhay ko. I never thought na ang ginawa ng Panginoon sa akin noon is I really also fasted for 40 days. Isang million lang, isang meal. Kumbaga, breakfast lang yung na in-skip ko yun for 40 days. Minsan nga, sabi nga ng amo ko, bakit? Hindi mo kinain tong tinapay mo. Hindi na lang ako umimik. Sabi ko, Lori, tulungan mo ako kung ano yung sasagot ko sa amo ko. At kung ano man yung gusto mong ipagawa sa akin. Lori, andito lang po ako. So, to make the long story short, bago ako umuwi nun, God had impressed in my heart na through the life ng mga lingkod niya, sa buhay ng mga lingkod niya, siya yung, sila yung mga ginamit ng Panginoon to share the word of God, to share the gospel of salvation sa aking family. And I never thought na yung time na yun, ang mother ko at ang auntie ko ay hindi pala sila nag-uusap for almost 10 years. Magkapitbahay na sila, magkapitbahay na kami doon sa probinsya. Pero nung time na yon na na-schedule na pumunta yung mga pastor at kanyang family to share the word of God, doon namin nalaman na hindi na sila nag-uusap. But then, God is good. Napakabuti ang Panginoon dahil yung time na yon talagang ginawa namin, ginawa namin ang aming ways. Yung kalooban ng Lord ang nangyari. At hindi namin pinalagpas yung araw na yon na hindi sila nagkabati. And we thank God, we praise God, we glorify God kasi in that moment of time, iyon pala yung divine appointment na hindi lang ma-share yung gospel of salvation sa aking family, sa aking mga patid, sa aking mga kamag-anak. And most of all, yung reconciliation ng aking nanay at ang aking auntie. So, praise God. Hindi natin alam ang kaparaanan ng Diyos. Sabi nga, di ba, ng kanyang salita, His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And I really praise God hanggang ngayon. From that time on, mas close pa sila ngayon. And thank God for that moment nakita ko kung kaano kadakil ang Panginoon. 
He's a God of reconciliation. Napakabuti ang Panginoon. Kaya mga kapatid, kung meron ka man pinagpipray ngayon, more than pa ang bibigay ng Lord sa iyo. Ang tinitignan ng Panginoon sa buhay mo, are you really seeking Him? Is your focus unto God alone? Are you acknowledging Him? His power, His sovereignty, His authority over your lives. Are you seeking His will? Ang kalooban niya malaki, ang inuuna mo sa buhay niya. And last, are you always thankful in good times, in bad times? O nagpapasalamat ka lang kami natatanggap ka? Sabi nga, di ba, sa Book of Thessalonians, give thanks in all circumstances because this is God's will for you to our Lord Jesus Christ. Kapatid, maliit man o malaki, meron man o wala, we should always be thankful to God because He knows the best for us. Huwag tayo maghinawa. Huwag kang mag-give up, kapatid. Kung hindi mo pa nare-receive or natatanggap ang katugunan ng iyong mga prayers, just wait patiently with perseverance. Wait for God's timing in your life. Minsan kasi, ang lifespan natin iba sa pananaw natin but if we look unto the eyes of faith to God we should always say let your will be done Lord in my life kaya mga kapatid let us model Jesus Christ when He prayed and fast. Let our lives be led by the Holy Spirit every day of our lives. Maging sensitive tayo sa leading ng Holy Spirit in our lives. Let's continue to seek God, focus unto Him, acknowledge Him, Seek His will and be thankful always. Hope and pray that God will continue to put in every heart that enthusiasm, that eagerness to know Him more in our lives through prayer and fasting. So, before we end, siguro, sinasabi mo sa sarili mo ngayon, hanggang kailan, Dorit? Hanggang kailan, Panginoon? But I assure you, kapatid, God's time is always perfect. We are have we have all all our imperfections, but remember, we have perfect God in our lives. He knows the best for us. He knows every details of our lives. Maraming mga pagsubok sa buhay natin, but then. Hindi niya tayo hahayaan na mag-isa lamang. God is always there for us. If God is for us, who can be against us? And also, He always promises us
in the book of Hebrews that He will never leave us nor forsake us. Hindi na tayo iwanan. Hindi na tayo pagbabayan. Mahal ka ng Panginoon. Mahal tayo ng Panginoon. So I hope and pray about it. Continue to grow closer to God. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again with your love, your mercy and grace that sustain us every day. You're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be honored, God. Salamat, Ama. sa lahat ng ginawa mo at gagawin mo ka sa amin. May your word continue to penetrate in our lives. Continue your manifestation presence in our lives. As you continue to open our hearts, minds spiritually. Father, we pray Give us more strength as you increase our faith in you. Help us, Lord, to continue to seek you. Acknowledge you always in our lives. To focus unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And to be always thankful in every day of our lives. Maraming salamat po, Ama. Dahil hindi mo kami iniwanan, hindi mo kami pinabayaan. You are always there for us, O God. You said in your word, Lord God, in Matthew 6.33, If we seek first your kingdom and all your righteousness, all these things shall be added unto us. So today, Father, as we continue to study your word, every day of our lives. Continue, O God, to empower us with the Holy Spirit. Because apart from you, we are nothing, but in your glorious presence, we can do all things through Jesus Christ who give us this friend. Thank you, Father, for your word today. Thank you, Father, for your love, your mercy and grace that sustain us every day. May your name be lifted up be glorified and magnified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.